Welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Hi, I'm Psychic Tana Newberry, and again, I have something very special that I've made for you today. Today's Pick a Card reading will start by you picking a stack of cards. Choose one of the three stacks, check the timestamp below, and receive your timeless message. Today's cards are chosen from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. To learn more, you can see my description below. If you love the new format, I always appreciate your likes, your follows, and your shares. Be sure to comment below with which stack you chose. Lastly, many of you have asked about my one-on-one -on -one readings. Yes, I'm doing them, but they are only booked for my website, tannanewberry.com. I don't solicit for them, so do be careful out there on those socials. And that's it, so here we go. The time has come to cut the cords that bind you to all thought forms or beliefs that are keeping you small. Do not hesitate any longer. Act now. Find the stuck places where you are kept tethered to a toxic person, a toxic location, or faulty ideas that you have. Look within. In truth, most beliefs are in fact limiting. Focus on your intention instead in order to create what you wish. Everything you need to navigate the tides of your life is within you. Within you is the wisdom of the entire universe. Your atoms and your cells Hold within them the entire matrix of this reality and how to wield it at will. Cutting cords is not only appropriate at times of suffering, but also at times of great desire to be better. Reframe the way you think about letting go. Letting go to what no longer serves you will always be a benefit, but so will letting go of being mediocre. You are not meant to just be okay. We are here to achieve our greatness. Consider also letting go of anything that keeps you just okay. What we allow is a choice. The time has come to choose most wisely. To better do this, step outside of the concerns in your everyday life and into stillness. This does not mean to slow down and take a breath, although that is a good start. The cosmos is inviting you to go deeper into the places where the noise stops and there is only clarity and simplicity. Listen to the still small voice. Remember, spirit speaks in a whisper, not a shout. Do not let any reasons from before get the better of you. Stop the world and enter into the deep quiet and you'll know what to do. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness and clarity and your newfound freedom that you so desired will be sweeter than you ever thought. Your journey to drop your limitations your process of going inward to find your guidance all creates your intimate relationship with spirit. How will you engage with it? Right now, if you imagine 
relaxing, curling up in the hands of the divine, how does that make you feel? Can you then turn your needs and desires to that divine power and trust that you're safe and secure? Grace is being activated in your life right now. Think about where you are and where you wanted to go. Apply power, trust, and grace to your vision. Now you know where to start and you know where to go. So the time to begin is now. It is written in the sky that you have a destiny. You are being invited to explore certain aspects of life unique to you and you alone. Whatever you are faced with, every single aspect of your life is perfect in its imperfections. See your life as a series of opportunities rather than an obstacle course. Right now you're facing a critical moment in time with an opportunity to meet your fate, a choice that will point you where you expand and influence the world. Your capacity for abundance, love and purposeful action is all on the table. Now is the moment to lean into it. Whether a heartfelt connection, a call to creativity, or a new identity in some area of your life, leap in with all your heart and soul. You'll always have options, choices with their own consequences, but what is now laid before you requires that you do choose. As you set out on your adventure, you are faced with a vast number of options. While it sometimes seems an extraordinary thing, too many choices can throw you off balance. You might be worried that once you commit to your adventure, you won't be able to turn back. Sometimes no amount of overanalyzing or strategizing will help you make the right choice. It is a risk. The consequences are truly unknown. But that, in essence, is what an adventure is. To expect otherwise would go against the very nature of itself. Instead, remember your intentions. Whether you're seeking confirmation of something you already know, or attempting to shed light on what has eluded you, Imagine that all you seek is not at the landing point of your destination, but more about the moments connecting and who you become in the process. The world and time itself is interconnected in a living web of energy. Even if it's not possible to know how all of it works, we innately know this. What is in our highest good is always possible. Take your focus off of getting anywhere. Practice feeling your desired experiences happening now, moment to moment. Can you feel that? Right now? It's all happening now. Don't miss the forest for the trees. Every breath is precious. Every point on the timeline magical. Celebrate being. Celebrate existence. As you exist now, 
the worlds of your manifestations are in their creative processes. Cherish every moment. There are times when you're meant to discover and explore new terrain in your life, even to be part of a great wave of change. This is one of those times for you. What you've been contemplating is perhaps new to you, but others have laid well-worn paths and left wisdom for you to rely and reflect upon. Because of this, you'll have a better understanding of the potentials and possible pitfalls in your journey. Allow yourself to fully experience what is being offered to you. A forged key to unlock a door. Seek a mentor or good advice from an expert or elder. That way you'll be able to meet this life opportunity and challenges well informed. With this key, the door will open. Where others before you have led the way, you will now discover the treasure they left behind for you to make your own. Even still, going higher, building farther, and accomplishing more and more than was ever accomplished before. The path they've paved before you, to find it, you must find your balance. Just as a dancer moves gracefully into each pose, you too must navigate your own inner compass. There are so many paths that you could take. How will you know which one is the one for you? The place in between push and pull, the natural rhythm and natural flow, this is where your true north lies. You will be surprised how quickly the light shines on your path when you hold true to your space of balance. Do not force. Do not resist. Be still and let the winds of change sweep you up. You are part of the divine matrix of this earth. That is why there is a path for you. You are connected to the all. You might have been thinking and acting like you're the only one in this dream creating your life. There are so many complexities that the human mind cannot grasp or comprehend. Even when it's impossible to see beyond what you already know, imagine the divine matrix is serving you and others continuously. We as individuals are part of the collective consciousness of the divine. Your dreams and desires are heard. Did they start with the collective or did they begin within you? Rather than answering that question, think of it as an ever-fulfilling circle. The serendipitous events that work in your favor are the birthright of the divine matrix. The beautiful things for you are for the highest good of the all. Find your balance, find your way, Achieve what is yours to achieve. Discover what is yours to discover. The collective wants you to do so as well. <laughs>